Sean, we heard from the president this morning saying that Mike Flynn should ask for immunity. We also know the president has longstanding views on what immunity means. I mean, back in September, he said, if you are guilty of a crime, what do you need immunity for? So does the president think that Mike Flynn is guilty of a crime? I think Mike, he believes that, that Mike Flynn should go testify. He thinks that he should go up there uh, and do what he has to do to get the story out. With or without immunity? Well, I mean, that's up to him and his lawyer to decide. I'm not going to give Mike... Uh, Mike Flynn or anyone else legal advice from the podium, but I will tell you that the president's view is he should go up there, he should testify. But the president gave legal advice from his Twitter account. He said I, Mike I, Flynn should ask John. for immunity. Right, and I, and I, I and understand. He has said in the past that the only reason you ask for immunity is if you commit Right, a but crime. I think that the underlying point that you're missing, Jonathan, respectfully, is that what he's asking is go testify. Go get it out there. Do what you have to do to get there and tell Congress and tell everyone exactly what we've been saying for a long time. So, I mean, again, again, I get your point, but I, I think that the interesting thing is if you actually stop for a second and realize what the president's doing, is that he's saying do whatever you have to do to go up to make it clear what happened, take whatever precaution you want or however your legal counsel advises you. But again, the, the, the you know, I, I've heard in some legal circles that the president could have exerted legal authority with him and Sally Yates and others. It's quite the opposite. And again, I think that that, compared to the narrative that you hear from, from a lot of the folks in this room all the time, is a little bit opposite. Here you have a president who is telling uh, Mike Flynn and others to go up there, make sure, in fact, we, we talked about the other day with members of the administration that the president, we've made, volunteered. Uh, this doesn't look at an administration that's not doing everything it can to get to the bottom of this in, in the appropriate way. And I think that that is an important distinction that has been lost on a lot of you, that every action that we have taken, we've got up here and we've talked about Russia and the lack of a connection. We've talked about the fact that every single person who's been briefed has come away saying none exists, Republican, Democrat, Obama appointee, et cetera. And yet at the end of the day, the narrative still comes at us. And now we're going to the point where we've actually encouraged people to go talk to the House and Senate Intelligence Committee and the appropriate investigators so that they can continue to get to the bottom of this and get it aside from us. I think that's quite the opposite of what you would normally think that somebody who was not trying to get to the bottom would do. Amen. General Flynn's attorney said that uh, his client has a, has a story to tell. Is the White House concerned that General Flynn has damaging information about the president, his, his aides, his associates, about what occurred during the campaign with respect to Russia? Nope. You frequently tell us to take the president's tweets at face value, and they speak for themselves. So when the president says Mike Flynn should get immunity, is he suggesting to Congress that it grant immunity? I think Mike Flynn and his legal counsel should do what's appropriate for Mike Flynn. Right, but that is a, they cannot obtain immunity. It must be granted. Right. By and, I, and again, to your question. The right. The president recommending either to the FBI or to Congress well, to grant immunity because that's I, the only way it can happen. I understand that. But again, he didn't say Congress should grant. And well, I think, I right. And I think that his. What does he mean by that? What, what he means is that he supports Mike Flynn's attempts uh, to go up to Congress and be very clear with, with everything that they ask and what they want. Right, but he could have just said, I testify. He said he should get immunity. Right. And I'm asking you because it's an important it thing. Is. Every lawyer who works on this tells you it's extremely important to seek it and then obtain it. And there's only one way you can seek it, by it being granted, either by the FBI or by Congress. And for the President of the United States to even lightly indicate that he is in favor of that, it seems to me is a significant development. I'm trying to find out right. that's what the president was trying and to accomplish. I think what, and I'm trying to answer the question, which is that I think that what the president, not that I think, I've talked to the president about this, I think what yeah. he, yes. And the president's very clear that he wants uh, Mike Flynn to go and be completely um, open and transparent with the committee, and whatever it takes to do that, he is supportive of. Even if he doesn't obtain immunity? He wants him to, I mean, I don't, again, I, I, I want to be clear. He wants him to do uh, what is necessary to go up there and, and talk to uh, the committees of jurisdiction to get this matter behind us. And since you talked to the president about this, he was not trying to suggest to the FBI that it, or the Justice Department that it grant immunity to Mike. Well, I think he was asking. I'm not entirely sure the process of whether congressional the Congress does it or DOJ or both in this case. But the well, the point that it, I, I get it. But but the venue, right. Would be I understand. Right. But the bottom line he's not is instructing his Justice Department. No. no to what do he is instructing is Mike Flynn to do everything he can to cooperate with the committees that he's asked to look into this. Zeke. One more thing. You, talk, you said Congressman Schiff's coming over here. The Senate no, no, I, I'm, and let me just be clear, because I know, I'm, I, before you continue, I just want to be crystal clear. I know that he's communicated. Our expectation is, I don't, I don't. Well, there we go. Thank you. See, I appreciate that. Okay, I, I just, I know, but can, sometimes you got. Senator put out a statement yesterday that I just want to read to a part of it. Yeah. Um, the committee has asked the White House to direct the agencies that own the intelligence documents in question to immediately provide them directly to the committee. Okay. 
Okay. Does the White House have any problem with that or believe there is I think we're, we're looking into that. I think obviously we would we would have hoped that like Congressman Schiff they had come and seen these documents. Uh, I, I don't know. I know that the council's office is in contact with them with respect to that. Is there any problem with this? I, I don't I'm not major respectfully, I'm gonna the council's office is working with them. I don't want to get in front of what they how they go back and forth and make a decision about that. Schiff is asking the same thing too. I, I is this an illegitimate request? That's all I'm trying to figure out. What I don't I don't know. It, it's not a. It I, I think the obviously the goal would be I, again. I'm letting, letting the White House Counsel's Office sent that letter. They are the ones whom uh, those individuals have been in contact with. Obviously, we'd like them to come see that information, which is what uh, we think would had, would help them further their uh, their review of the situation. I so I I understand that. But what I'm telling you is, it's not my decision, Major. This is a discussion that is occurring between that both of those committees and the White House Counsel's Office. Well, I'm just asking as the representative of the President, because it is his decision. I understand that, and as you're telling me, it's happening in real time, This, the shift piece of it happening in real time. I don't know the answer, because it's happening while we're here. So I don't have an answer for us on that. The White House Counsel's Office is in communication with the committee in particular, and with Congressman Schiff's office, about arranging how that would go down. I don't know what further discussions they've had since we've been out here. Zeke. So if we 